Hi. First off, I'm very pink because I've just been for a run. But we are doing, we, I am doing a wedding DIY today. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But I'm attempting <laughs> to dry some petals for confetti. Um, I have ordered some confetti, so we do have some come in. Um, I'm pretty sure when I ordered the sample many moons ago um, that we showed in a vlog. But I've got some really colourful roses at the minute. Like um, I'll show you them in a minute, but like a, a coral kind of colour. So I thought over the next couple of months, if I get like some flowers in those sort of colours, I could dry those petals and add them to the confetti that we have on order. That's it. <laughs> They dry okay so I'm gonna try drying them in the oven so let's see how it goes so these are the roses Um as you can see some of them are like a bit past it now like I'm not gonna try drying these because they've just gone too crispy but like these ones should be okay there was a petal on the floor buddy ate it that could be toxic it's not toxic it's just greedy so I feel like this is going to take a long time. I'm just going to pull a load off and then see what I get. And then obviously if I've got a lot, we can just pick out the best ones after. Um, and I also need an airtight container to store them in afterwards. Do you know what I think this needs? I think this needs a, a time lapse. Okay, so how's it going? I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually weirdly finding this really relaxing. What, picking petals off and putting them on a... I'm putting them on a baking tray. On a baking tray? Yeah. Maybe this is your calling in life. Do you know, I think it could be. I might start making confetti. Good. How many are you going for? I haven't decided because I don't know how much they're going to shrink, you know, so I don't know whether to... Well, why don't you do that? Put this then... tray in and then decide. I mean, I don't think I can salvage much more off these anyway that's not too dry on the ends but I might see how this tray goes I love the variation in colours now I've pulled them off though like some are purpley like here and some are really pale pink and some are dark pink it's um I, for anyone who doesn't know I have a wedding blog and my colours are pink and coral so I feel like it's very well themed to my wedding blog right now yeah okay we're gonna put them in the oven yes Okay, let's do that. Oh, by the way, down here, this is a pile of rejects. <laughs> these are yeah. the petals these, that... Look, these are too... They didn't quite make it. Too crispy or too little. Didn't quite make the grade. Sorry, petals. So she's got the oven on, and here's the crucial bit. It needs to be on about 80, which it is. Look at this. This is not a dirty oven. It's just like water splatters. Why is the water splatters? Anyway, yeah, 80. This should do the trick. Buddy also thinks this should do the trick. Here goes nothing. Here we go. Wish, Here them, the... wish them luck. Here go the petals. Godspeed little petals. Don't burn. It looks like tiny bacons. <laughs> it does. Can you not say that about as potential confetti? As potential bacon confetti. Look at it, there it is. Yeah. Doing it really slowly, probably. I don't know. We'll keep we'll keep checking it. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna time lapse this, but obviously you can see the uh, you can see the issue right there. So we're not gonna time lapse this. Would have been cool though. So it's been ten minutes. I think it's time to flip them. Let's give them a flip. Are you excited? Are you <laughs> as excited as I am? A little crisper. It smells petally. No, oh, it does actually smell quite florally, doesn't it? Let's flip them. I reckon 10 minutes on the other side and they might be all right, though. And I'll butter some bread and we can have these tiny bacons. I think we oh. need to put some more in, though. Look how much they've shrunk. Tiny petals. So it's been another 10 minutes on the other side. So we're going to see what they look like now. Well, <laughs> Hopefully <it>. not burnt. <laughs> Woo! 
warm. Oh, that is smelling so floral it there. It smells like, you know when you make your own perfume? Got oh, water yeah. and petals. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what confetti is supposed to look like. It says when they feel really dry. Oh, they do feel really crispy though now. Crispy bacons. Maybe another like five more minutes. I think I'm going to flip them and give them another five minutes and then I think they're going to be done because like... Can you hear? Yeah. Like, they're quite crispy now. They're looking good though. They have shrunk a lot, but colour wise, I think they've done really well. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm kind of impressed that it worked. And while Lauren does that, I'm going to eat a croissant. If I can't go for that, Lauren's been playing that on, <laughs> on um, Alexa, that I can't go for that. Who's it by? Not who I thought it was by. Who is it by? Is it Hall and Oates? Click my phone, it might say. Hall and Oates, it is. Hall and Oates and croissants. Yummy. It's worked! <laughs> I have successfully dried petals to add to the confetti. Um, they shrunk a lot though, like some of those petals were really big that I put on there and they shrunk a lot so I'm going to go in with a second batch now I know it works. Um, so I'm going to put these in an airtight container and get the second batch in the oven. I'm very impressed. You want to set it up? Look at them. Obviously it's darkened them up quite a lot but I still think there's a nice like colour variation in there and we don't have these colours in our confetti I think it's called rainbow what we've ordered um, but it's like purples, yellows, neutrals we don't have any of this sort of colour so I think it's going to be nice added into our confetti ok so now we can empty them into a container I think we're good to go for round two, which we are not going to film. So we're going to just basically do the same thing again. I think it took like 25 minutes in all um, on a really low heat just so I didn't singe them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we'll only get like one more batch out of these. But if I get any flowers like that are these sort of colours in the months up to the wedding, I think I'll do it again. Um, and just keep adding them to this tub. We don't have our actual confetti yet. I think it's coming. I think it comes like two weeks before the wedding and then you bag it up in your little cute bags that we've got. <laughs> so then when that comes, obviously we can just mix in what we've made with those other stuff and it's going to look great. And it's good for the environment because it's biodegradable. <laughs> Always a win. So if you liked this video of me making confetti, <laughs> don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you've not already. And with that being said, we're going to get gone and we'll see you guys next time.